But yeah, he's got tanks here now, look. So this is a problem. I am actually capturing some stuff. But here, now I need to get this tank up front, but I, I knew this was a problem here, a bit of a mistake. Control initialized. Hello there, comrades and cannon fodder. It's Devoid here. I've got a 1v1 multiplayer game and we're on Scorched Earth for this one. I'm using Russia and my opponent's using Russia for this game. Um, I'm going to show a couple of replays with this post because I fought this game and we had a rematch as well. So I'll post both games together because um, they were fought one straight after the other. And, um, you know, hopefully there'll be another game or two to be fought between us because this is an excellent opponent. I posted a game uh, against him, um, I think it was yesterday I made a post with this opponent and he's a, he's a great player. Um, I'm not sure if I'd know him by another name but he's, um, he's known to other players obviously. But here we go, we've got our initial rifle scouts clashing and uh, my first rifleman is telling me that the enemy is coming straight through the middle so you have to watch your engineer because these riflemen could easily slip between my rifle my rifleman here and I'm looking for the enemy engineer of course which is what he's doing but he's stopped now there's a single rifleman and I've killed him with my two riflemen now if the engineer was there he'd be doomed plus he couldn't run away either because that that guy would get him but he's bringing three so I'm breaking up those guys keeping them separate if he shoots one there'll still be others but this guy here I'm uh, assuming that um, my opponent is going to be here, look, and he sent him a safe route, it's just I was well and truly ready. So I caught that engineer going between this oil derrick and this one, but normally I capture this one first, and most players do seem to capture this one first, because it's their con the contestable ones, and if you overwhelm your enemy here, you could move forward, but... For some reason, like I say, most players, they leave this one for s till second, maybe that's why, but... You know, it is actually the safer one. You could secure these central oil derricks with your troops while still capturing this one with your engineer. But, you know, it is a fair distance and it's easy to get riflemen. Look, you see, I'm protecting him, my engineer, as best I can. There's three riflemen there because it's easy to catch him. You see, I'm even making sure there's no one there, no enemy riflemen there now. You just, you've got to be careful, especially against a good opponent. But I'm using the normal build, my opponent's gone for War Factory first, and I wasn't I wasn't aware of this, because I haven't sent my rifle scouts, look, I've just got them close by to check for expansions, etc. But I thought this would reveal some enemy movements, and it hasn't. But I am aware that he's not taken his oil derricks. And I am checking, look, just in case there's any more engineers on the way, but my opponent's got his scout vehicle. And he got my engineer, but I'm not sure if it was friendly fire or not. Maybe um, have a closer look at that sometime, but he's caught my... No, he hasn't. <laughs> the veteran's escaped. Oh, dear. And if he comes back, he'll be in trouble. Oh, dear. The veteran gave his life, but it was well worth it to take out an APC. That was a mistake. My rifle guard has moved up here just to make sure that the oil derrick's not been captured by my opponent yet. So I've got two, my opponent's taken one. And because I've just destroyed his scout vehicle, I'm moving forward to capture the centre, take the oil, take the hospital, and hopefully my opponent's oil derrick, but that's because I've got a scout vehicle and my opponent hasn't. Now, he killed my engineer, so I'm training a fresh one, and I've sent my APC to pick him up. Now, he did uh, overrun slightly. My engineer would be about here by now and he would be capturing by now, but at least he's safe in here. I wasn't sure, you know, I had to, you've got to keep them, keep them safe. It's the second engineer I've trained. I don't want him being shot. But I have to get my APC to screen these guys, and look, my opponent hasn't got view range from the oil derrick, so I can stay close. And he sent this uh, early expansion out. It's 420, so it's not that early, but it looks like he's ahead of me. Um, he did go for a War Factory first build, so um, that's why his build order will be slightly different. Um, he's ready to place a barracks, and another barracks. Interesting. He's securing these 
patches of ore, not actually mining them yet. But my opponent's got a tank out now, so he wants to try and press, his advan uh, press that advantage by using a tank. And he's close to his home base, so he's got his units ready to spawn. Now he sent a rifleman to check what's there, so now he knows I'm here. And I'm trying to position troops and my APC without it being too far up front to get destroyed straight away. And here we go. Initial clash, six grand each, seven to nine. And my APC is half damage, but I need to keep it in the battle because of the view range benefit I'll get. But I need to keep it away from the tank. And I thought, oh dear, look, I'm in trouble here. And my opponent set up uh, an expansion there. But like I say, I thought, I'm in trouble. But my opponent's operating near my view range from the oil derrick, so he's lost that advantage. Such a shame to lose the APC there like that to a single rifleman. Well, I've got my expansion set up. And it's a good start. I've got three oil derricks and a hospital. My opponent's got one. But he is using a base push here. But I saw this with my rifle scouts and thought, right, I'm going to actually attack here. I may not be prepared, but I'm going to attack. And um, caught him out here. Where his units are, obviously I've destroyed them. But yeah, he's got tanks here now, look. So this is a problem. I am actually capturing some stuff. But here... Now, I need to get this tank up front, but I, I knew this was a problem here, a bit of a mistake. And look, he's building base defences, that's a problem. And you see, by putting that tank up front, I gain nothing by it screening. Now, this tank, I'm gaining nothing by it being there. I've just lost two tanks for nothing. That's not good. But I've got the view range from that power plant. If, it doesn't take, if he doesn't take it out, it's going to cost him. And look, we've got a struggle here. But <laughs> he caught my engineer, I was trying to capture that. And it may have been a different story if I had at this point. Look, because he's starting to gain the advantage. But I've got base defences thanks to this power plant I've captured. And that, I thought, oh, that's a help. Because it's screening, view range, and it'll balance his tank advantage out for his tank. So I thought, that is a lifesaver, that base defence. And that's because I've got this here, and this power plant allows me to place base defences near it. And now we've got mayhem going on here. Look, flame towers fighting. I've got my barracks producing. But these flame towers can just annihilate any troops trained. So it's a waste. But I'm pressing my attack here. 7,000 in army value each. And my opponent sent some units up this way. Look, a small force. But he's, uh, he, you have to. I'm pressing the advantage here. And I saw his vehicle, uh, the MCV, trying to escape. So I've sent a tank. And I've won this engagement here, but this this small group, look, this is, uh, this is a problem that I'm unaware of. Look, you see, I'm desperately attacking this, following it, doing my best. And I've sent some units back, now he's selling up, he's sold up everything. So all of these guys should move here, and I should have uh, pressed. But I saw this attack, and thought, oh dear, that's not great. And I've got no units, and this is the point I realised I haven't transferred my eco. And I'm about to lose tank production. So now I've realised I'm sending a tank back. I should have primary production. But look. Um, got rid of the um, construction yard. But here now I'm in trouble. And I've got a tank and base defence. But I've got to get that out of here. And there's my eco transfer. Nope. Lost it. So we've both just lost... Um, our MCV. We've both just lost our home base MCV, I think, as well. So our army values, my opponent's at 11,000, I'm at 7,000, so that's not good. He's at 12. This isn't good. And I know he's only got a small force here, so I'm okay. Um, but this frontline force, I'm painfully aware I've got no vehicles. That's not, And I've got a smaller army than my opponent, so it's not good. Now you see he's sent a single tank to attack here. A single tank. And now he's got this small group still. Now they can, uh, with two heavy tanks, they can cause heavy damage to all trucks. And he's replaced his MCV. I have not. And here we go, look. He's got base defences here at his base again. But I'm building APCs because I've got no um, tanks. He's destroyed my 
service depot. Andy destroyed my war factory, but luckily I had another one ready to build. And there's his tank arrived for his eco raid. Luckily I'm ready, because I'm just like... And I'm launching an eco raid of my own. Here, which is a good one. And this force somehow managed to survive. But well, I've destroyed his eco raid and launched one of my own here. Now he's got to back off. But he's actually launching his own little attack again here. Now this force was driven off and it's coming back. So uh, I now have to prepare my defences here where I have no... I've got um, a radar dome but I've got no service depot. So here's my uh, force. I'm trying to make a nuisance of myself here. And look, three rocket soldiers. Ouch. And there you go, he's taken out... I sold that refinery, I believe. But uh, now I've got primary production here. I'm trying to protect this. And I've won the engagement here. These APCs crushed his troops. And I've got... Uh, I'm not sure if there was anything in that APC. But we're at 8,000 to 7,000 to my opponent. This force couldn't defend it. Look, there's a single tank there, but I've got two thieves now. I'm, uh, and I've got these APCs. These are about to go and pick up the thieves. But I saw I was under attack there. So I thought, right, one of these thieves can go and be picked up like I planned. And the other one can actually get this tank. And uh, where's he going? Oh, well, that's great. He's killed him. That's great. And now I've been driven off from my um, first expansion. And these ore trucks are going here. Uh, my opponent's at 12,000. I'm at 10,000 army value. And he's spreading out here. So he's well and truly back on uh, back in, in control. Now I'm sending a force here to control it. I thought I had a better army than my opponent. But I don't. And it's just he's spread his out in a far superior way. But I've got tech. I've got V2s now. And I've obviously been training thieves. I've got these guys here. And these um, APCs have thieves and engineers inside. Now, it looks like he's seen them. So if I just have a look at his economy briefly... Yeah, I'm at 15 grand. He's at two and a half. So I didn't exactly need to do the steal. But there's no harm in taking your opponent's cash. There never is. There's never any harm in doing that. And I'm on a capture, but... He's been killed, but I, it was worth it. I got the cash. A little bit of cash. Now I've got two V2s. My opponent's at 14,000. I'm at 12. Now he's got a single tank that's destroying my entire economy. And I've got troops being trained. I'm just not paying attention. I'm trying to gather forces for the attack. But I'm catching up, catching up in army value. And each time I produce units, I'm dragging them away. And look... Uh, I've produced my second MCV, so I'm moving forward here, and we've got an attack. And I'm painfully aware that I've got no tanks. But the V2s are going to try and hopefully, there we go, some nice strikes, balance this out while I've got also my uh, base defences. Look at that, it's just trying to reach my V2s, but you're not going to. You're not going to, mate. My V2s are just real good. Look at that, I've driven them off with such a minimal force. Excellent control but now that army's too much he's going to sweep this away but there's nothing here i should have abandoned it or yeah i should have just let him as long as he wasn't capturing i should have allowed him to waste his time here that's where the bulk of his army is i should be finishing him now he's got nine thousand i've got six and i'm attacking and wasting units against defenses now my v2s are doing good damage but i've uh, made an error here and I am training units at the front line. Look, he's cleared all that out now. It's not an ex a very powerful force. So there's only one rocket soldier that I can see. But he's pushed me back here. He's got 10,000 army value. I've got three. Now he's expanded all over. Um, and look, he's just been wiping me out with that single tank. Which is pathetic. And as well as the fact that I didn't transfer my economy earlier... It is pathetic, that. I'm, uh, and obviously, look here, I'm doing something about it. I'm moving my ore trucks away, and I appear to have some, but, you know, that was, a, that was terrible. That was amateur. Uh, but it was perhaps because I thought I was um, close and worth. Uh, it was worth shedding some uh, units just to try and push that final uh, attack. But I was cut down. 
I just didn't have tanks to support me at the time. Now he's moving over a decent army while he's got more than enough to stop me here. Plus his single tank is, look, I'll keep drawing units away. And he keeps destroying my auto trucks. So look, I'm worried and I know that I've got problems. So I'm trying to attack and I can't. I, I'm up against a big problem. I should stand off with V2s, but I just, you know, I haven't got enough. But I'm bringing up units, it's enough to hold off this attack if he launches an attack. Get that V2 back. And look, he's uh, building here, expanding all over. He's got a 20 grand army, I'm at 7. So I've been whittled down and defeated. Up to this point. And my economy has collapsed. He's still got the tank there. Or maybe he's another one, but he's still there. That is just... That's so amateur. So amateur. Look, and now he's got V2s. Oh, that was a nice, nearly a nice shot. Could have taken out five and that. Yeah, that's not going to do anything. Right, I've got a thief. Nearly hit by a V2. And he's going to get killed by a, a rifleman anyway. That's a shame. That's a 500 credit unit. And I'm falling back under fire. Nice V2. And look, here we are. We're hit by the enemy's main army and I've just started to produce the high-end tech, tech structures and it was just the final waste of credits, the final mistake and I'm pushing an attack here because I've fought off his attack very nice, but he's got more than enough to stop me plus he's overrunning everything I've got, there goes my conyard I'd noticed like just before that so you know my attention wasn't correctly uh, like uh, t um, directed <clears throat> and as soon as he can fire V2s back like that is my advantage over there is lost it's uh, yeah I'm selling up such a shame and I have packed up this MCV I'm moving over to you know I'm not giving up I'm moving over to expand elsewhere but anywhere I go he's gonna be um, so here we are, he's probably knows, he's probably aware I'm abandoning everything. He's seen me selling stuff. So, um, there you go. The, uh, it coming to the final desperate struggles. And there's my spy plane, I got some use out of the airfield before it went down. And here he goes crunch and I've found my enemy's base and I thought oh you've got a tech center as well have you I'll get rid of that in his power but he's got loads of cash um yeah he's okay for power he's okay for power and army and I've still got two oil derricks and, and the hospital they serve me well but yeah and there's his spy plane spotting everything that I've got and he's sent this over here I should pursue it and destroy it but I do also want rid of that airfield because a plane is the last thing I need. It'll show him everything that he needs to know. Uh, go on, get rid of the airfield. And then I want rid of that. But it's not going to happen now. Obviously, look, I've been fought into the very back of the... <laughs> pressed against the side of the map. And I'll go through uh, graphs and charts and things now. Um, there's the army graph. That was, you know, a good bit of fighting, some ups and downs. But... I could have done better. I made some shocking mistakes up here. My first one was not having an eco-transfer. That was a shocking mistake. And the attack here, the first army that destroyed my service depot and war factory, was a weak, tiny little army. So my opponent did extremely well, uh, you know, choosing that amount of units. So his front line wasn't too weak. And it was enough to do the job. You know, it was just, it was enough. And as well as the tanks he sent this way. You know, it was like a single tank, like, beat me. Shocking. But I've congratulated him because, I, I, you know, he did very well. I, I put him in a hard situation and he did very well. So, uh, good on him. Look, I've got my MCV. That's literally it. I've got a tank and two ore trucks. But that's it. I'm down to my MCV. He's following me. So I'm not going to get a chance to train engineers and capture anything. Because, look, that's a nice bit of capturable capturable assets there. But <laughs> not when he's following me. But there's the army graph, look. Uh, earnings graph. Yeah. 
quite good. My opponent was struggling in the middle, but then obviously my earnings have bottomed out proper. But uh, my opponent's finishing army is a good one. Um, like he's got an aeroplane, a mammoth, mammoth tank. Where's his mammoth? Um, she's got a mammoth tank somewhere. Follow it from where it was trained from, which was here. There it is, mammoth tank. The proper heavy, nice heavy tanks. I should start using them myself, but you know, heavy tanks are just so good that I rarely get to the mammoth. <clears throat> but he's got um, some V2s, some heavy tanks, and plenty of infantry. Um, my opponent killed 386 units, I killed 300. My opponent lost 15 structures, I lost 45. Very nice. My opponent's got a 42,000 value army, and he destroyed 123,000 of my assets. I destroyed 74,000 of his assets. So that's not great. But he's got his support powers in effect, paratroops and spy planes. Um, his production... He's building another tech centre, because I took out that one near the end, so that was good. And he's building aircraft, because he replaced his airfield as well. But here's the economy. Uh, my opponent spent 157,000, I spent 128,000, and he's got 12 ore trucks, so that's excellent. He's got 18 grand as well. I've got nearly three, so not bad for cash. Here's the basics. My opponent was a uh, relaxed 20 actions per minute. I was at 33 actions per minute. And there you go, there's the scores, 1221 to my opponent, 797 to me. Uh, but I'm going to go straight to the rematch and post it as part of this video as well. Um, so uh, I'll just go straight to that. Battle control terminated. Uh, let's have a look. Here we are, here's the rematch. And for this game, because I joined my opponent's game last time, he chose the map. Um, so for this one, uh, I chose Timian because it's uh, one of my favourite maps, and I'm quite, I'm, I'm fairly decent on these, on this map. And the map does make a difference to me. Like the more you practice on a map, the better you're going to be, obviously. And there are some maps that I use far more often than others, and it does help. It makes a difference. You know, he's on my turf now, so we'll see. But we'll see if it alters his build order choice because last time he went for War Factory first. Um, let's see, I've got my engineer, my opponent's done the same, he's sent his engineer to the closest oil derrick, while his infantry spread out elsewhere, although mine have moved ahead because I was ready, some of his headed towards the oil derrick, which is not what you want if you're hoping to get into a certain position before the enemy, but he's sent, he's only sent four units, now they'll clear away these guys on their own, but I could have cleared them out. In fact, I could kill all his units, so I'm assuming it's War Factory first again. Yeah. And he sold the barracks. Right, I don't agree with that. I don't agree with it. Whatever happens, I don't agree with selling your barracks. I don't... No, not at all. Now, I've just killed his last... Uh, that rifleman quickly, but we've got uh, this one... Killed the rifleman, but the engineer's fine. He survived just. So I've got this guy, but there's three, a rifleman and two technicians to stop him. There you go, and he didn't even fire first, so my opponent's captured that. So he's got one, I've got two, and he's captured his second now. So we're even for oil, Derricks, and I even sent another rifleman try and catch him out, but it won't. He's going to get caught out himself. And my opponent's got his ranger. Yeah, War Factory first. And he's using um, civilian technician, sorry, as right, as guards. There's another technician. Yeah, and there's another look. Uh, here we go. My opponent's... Um, he's got his engineer in there. In the Ranger. Now, I'm keeping my engineer here safe, um, and I thought, right, I'm not just going to go for a capture and get the engineer sniped. I'll actually, um, you know, I'll do something else, I thought, change it up. Um, I noticed my opponent was moving here with his um, ranger, and I didn't know why. I couldn't see this, obviously. Let's have a look. I heard sh a shot, 
and there you go. I think I caught a glimpse of that, which made me think, well, what's he doing? He didn't do anything. He didn't even scout my base properly. So I sent these guys to see what that was about. And he'd left an engineer look shady. That guy who I'd normally almost shot dead, he's left him here for a time when there's action going on and he can capture something at his will. There you go. He won't be doing any of that, though. But here we go. I'm back on back onto my last train of thought, which was moving towards the enemy oil derrick. And now he's got no engineer, because I, I saw that guy turn veteran. So I thought, right, he put an engineer there. And um, so I thought, he's not going to capture this, but I also didn't want to get my engineer sniped, because I knew he had the ranger. So I thought, right, keep the engineer safe and check out what's going on here. And when I saw he had no one protecting it, I thought, well, then it's mine. But I sent the engineer to start a capture. Let's see if he reacted at all. No, he didn't react. I thought he might have sent a scout vehicle to snipe him. So I put it back, hoping to catch it. And then, without it being able to snipe my engineer, but I thought, no, I'll destroy that and protect mine. Leave it as it is. My opponent's got his expansion set up. 4 minutes 34 he set that up and he is also about to place his refinery so that's good timing on the expansion I've got my MCV ready he's uh, I'm still placing barracks so I'm, I've got my hands full at the moment I've got a barracks ready to place it's just sat there my, my MCV's moving out and I'm not building something's distracting me now I've placed it that's not good not good at all so that's delayed my expansion considerably. Um, that barracks was just sat there idle. Not good. But I'm always wary of having to protect, protect this section of the map. You, a lot of players like to attack this way. I do myself. It, it's another part of the map that, you know, because this central area, you know, it's an active area. And so are the expansions on these sides. But this area you can attack and if you attack early enough you can catch the the enemy's main supply main group of ore trucks as well so it's a good place to attack and that's why i place barracks here for the extra view range and so i can tra train infantry on on site here where i need them and it looks like my opponent's thinking of doing something but these guys they shouldn't be sat there idle like that and last in, there you go, there's my MCV in the last game. I forgot about my eco transfer. So it's about now we need to be transferring them. And let's just check army values 16,000 to me, 13,000 to my opponent. And it looks like he's just protecting this ore patch, he's not actually attacking yet. And there's my APC for a grenadier drop, and the technician will spot it if... Yeah, that's very quiet. It, I doubt he'd have noticed that. He may have done if he's sharp, but it's so easy to miss that. It's not even a rifleman sound. And I'm not using it yet. I'm leaving him there for now. So I launched this attack and immediately bumped into the enemy. So I had to react there and uh, stop my units advancing there like that get them and then get the tanks up front but that's when i decided to use my uh gren drop now i cut caught or ran straight into a base defense but my my grenadier survived and i'm winning the battle here and i've got one of the enemy's uh power plants now my opponent appears to be attacking here as well so let's just uh Oh yes, he's placed another base defence which has caught my Grenadier's outlook. Very nicely done, but I've placed my APC to stop him being able to build tanks because there's a tank ready to roll out, but while the APC is parked there, the tank will just get stuck and stay inside and no further tanks will be built. Until that tank rolls out, he can't, he can't build anymore and it can't roll out because my APC is blocking the way. So, sorry about pausing that, but we'll just I wanted to make sure I caught every element. But I've got more than enough to stop him here. Look at that. And I've, ordered, I've just ordered them all to attack. You see, I, if I'd have done that a minute earlier, there'd have been no one there to receive his attack. But I'm also desperate for units here. So, there you go. Bit of micro luck. Target his units with an APC. Win the battle. And look. Look, I've even left them here. 
How amateur is that? So I wasn't defending my base. I was just extremely lucky that when I called them to help me on the front line, they happened to bump into these guys. They are placed a base defence, got a tank, that's adequate. So these guys can turn away now. But rather than continue my attack in this direction, where he's expecting it, I thought I would regroup here and attack in this direction. My target is his expansion, but I'm running into base defences here. They're just lethal. You run into pillbox and your troops are just... it's big trouble. And now I'm fighting within view range of his buildings. That's bad. So... and I was worried about him attacking here. So I keep producing units here, and that's why when I call them all to the front, they're getting shot by pillboxes here. But look, I was targeting that, and I thought, this is going to get me killed. I have to fight his units. Deal with that later, I thought. And I've got another APC for some reason. Um, my first one died. Why would I have a second? Oh, I think he's there for... Um... Actually, yes, because I was about to um, build... No, Radar Dome, no. I thought I had a Radar Dome and that's why I built them, so I could taxi engineers and thieves to the front line. Maybe that's a mistake, I don't know. But I fought off his forces and pursued this construction yard. It's not getting away this time, but look, you see these guys? They're very likely to move into those guns. And look, I've, I've overrun him here. And sending those units after me like that allowed me to destroy them piecemeal. There weren't enough. And he can't um, stop me chasing him. Look, he's got a horde of angry technicians. What's going to happen here? Is one going to be a veteran technician? Oh, wow. We've got a full star veteran technician. Field Marshal Tech. And there you go, my opponent's laughing. I, I thought he was calling it, but he's laughing there. He hasn't got any forces to attack here. And I am producing thieves now. Um, yes, there, my opponent's called it, but I was sending this APC, and this I've set as my primary production look, and the APC was moving here so that when... My thief, that is now training, comes out. He can get straight in the APC and drive to the front line. Now, I had a target um, refinery here. If it gets sold, which is common now, people are getting wise to my thievery. I'll just take their ore trucks. If, if I don't destroy their ore trucks and they sell the refinery, then I'll take the ore trucks. But uh, if they're in an APC, you can also send the APC to move ahead of any fleeing MCVs. Drop off your thieves in their path and take that MCV. You know, it's uh, thieves in an APC. It opens up so many more options for them. But I'll go through the graphs and charts because I don't want to extend this post too much because there's already this is the second replay in this post. But there's your army graph. Look, my opponent was just behind, plain and simple. And it may have been an early engagement or something, but yeah, it's just whatever it was, he was behind. Uh, here's the earnings graph, quite even, except we had, uh, at the end, we were, our economies were in a different situation. Mine was doing okay, his was decreasing in in value. So there's the earnings graph. Um, my army, uh, I've got a few heavy tanks, an APC, flamer, engineer, some rockets and rifles, not a lot. Uh, here's a combat chart. I killed 146. My opponent killed 165. I've got a 13,000 army value. And I didn't lose any structures. My opponent lost 9 before he uh, called it. And I destroyed 38,000 of my opponent's assets. My opponent destroyed 29,000 assets of mine. 29,000 of my assets val in value. Uh, no support powers. Um, production... I've placed my uh, radar dome, but I didn't build a, a, an airfield yet. So I, I've got uh, tech, but no support powers as of yet. I'm still building refineries because I want one up here, look. While I realised I was uh, safe enough over here, I thought I'll move back my MCV and get this extra little supply of ore. And that's what that refinery was going to be for. Uh, economy tab, I've got seven ore trucks left, not quite equal to my opponent's 14 or whatever it was last game, but I've got my two oil derricks still, held on to them and destroyed my opponent's second one. Um, 
but I spent 75,000, my opponent spent 63,000, and we've both got six grand left, over six grand. Uh, here's the basics. I'm at 31 actions per minute, my opponent's at 20. Um, there's a score, 375 to me, 288 to my opponent. So there's the rematch for you. I hope you enjoyed both those games, and if you like what you saw, give us a sub and a like, and take good care of yourselves, and until next time, goodbye. Battle control terminated.